Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hi class, how are you today? Good, right? In this video, we're going to explore the crucial role that seating arrangements play in effective, uh, effective classroom management. All right, ah, uh, it's quite interesting, right? Grab some coffee and snack to uh, enjoy this video, to accompany you enjoy this video. All right, um, yeah, just imagine that a classroom is a stage. It's like you orchestrate an environment uh, conducive uh, to engagement, collaboration, and success uh, for the students. Yeah, that's very important to think about a seating arrangement in classroom. One question for me to start the discussion. What is the typical seating arrangement used in many classrooms? Okay, just recall your um, what memory about your past um, class, uh, what past teaching practicum, and or observation in your internship. Right, uh, I want to show you this slide number one: the original seating plan. In a traditional classroom layout. The teacher's desk is often situated at the front of the room facing the students. And the teacher's uh, desk may be placed slightly elevated or positioned centrally to allow for a clear view of all students. So the, the center of attention is on the teacher. And then where are the students? Right here, uh, there are one, two, three, four, five, six. Here, uh, six uh, what uh, box? Uh, six boxes. Students' desks are typically arranged in rows or columns facing the front of the classroom. Each student desk is placed at the at a, comfor a comfortable distance from neighboring desk to allow for ease of movement and to minimize distractions. You can see that there. Are there, there is an aisle here to separate uh, one, one column to another column of uh, the students' uh, students tables. And uh, the teacher's position allows for easy visibility and access to all students. This facilitates effective um, learning environment and effective classroom management, of course. As the teacher can monitor students' behavior, provide guidance, and lead instruction from a central location. All right, and slide number two. Okay, it's like a what? A U shape or horseshoe arrangement. Desks or tables are arranged in a large. Uh, sorry, in a large. Um, in a large U shape or a horseshoe shape, with the opening of the U uh, or the curve of the horseshoe like this, uh, facing uh, the front of the classroom. Where is the teacher? Right, T of there is the teacher. The teacher's desk is usually positioned at the open end of the U or at the center of the horseshoe allowing the teacher to have a clear view of all the students. This central location enables the teacher to easily engage with individual students and lead discussions while maintaining eye contact with the entire class. Student desks or chairs are placed along the outer edges of the U or the curve of the horseshoe facing the center of the arrangement. This setup encourages a sense of community and fosters collaboration among students as they can easily see and interact with each other during class activities and discussions. Next slide, um, the next shape uh, for uh, seating position is this. It's named uh, paired rows. And uh, the seating arrangement um, you've described uh, where students are divided into two groups 
with uh, each group seated in a row facing uh, the other while the teacher uh, stands in the middle is commonly known as a pet rows or a opposing rows arrangement in this setup uh, students in each row typically work uh, together as partners or teams with the rows facing each other to facilitate communication and collaboration between the groups the teacher's position in the middle allows for easy monitoring of both groups and encourages engagement with all students. This seating is often used for activities that involve discussion, debate, or cooperative learning, as it fosters interaction and peer-to-peer -peer communication while still allowing the teacher to maintain control and facilitate instruction. And the next one is circle shape. In a circle seating arrangement, students and the teacher are positioned in a circular formation facing each other. Okay, teacher's position. Um, yeah, the teacher is usually seated or positioned within the circle. So they mingle with the students, taking, uh, taking a seat among the students rather than standing at the front of the classroom. So the teacher is no longer being uh, the center of attention here because uh, they are in the middle of the students. This positioning fosters a sense of equality and encourages open communication and participation from both the teacher and the students. Students are seated in chairs or on the floor maybe around the perimeter of the circle facing inward towards the center. This arrangement allows each student, uh, each student to have a clear view of the teacher and their classmate, facilitating engagement in discussion, activities, and of course, presentations. And next, all right, um, okay, it's time for us to find some other alternatives. Yeah, those types of uh, seating arrangement are not fixed. If you have any other idea, please. All right, and uh, there are still other types of seating arrangement that um, support students' uh, collaboration, sharing, and of course, the discussion. Right, and here are the, the other seating positions. Yeah, as a teacher, you can try pairs, enemy corners, opposing teams, face-to-face, -face, panel, public meeting, bus groups, wheels, maybe. Those are only uh, applicable for a class with portable chairs, of course. So, uh, you, of course, cannot do the experiment if uh, the chairs are fixed in the position. So, it should be moving chairs. And uh, to end this video, one question from me. Which seating arrangement is the best for English classrooms and why? Discuss your answer to your friends and teacher, right? Okay, uh, right everyone, that is the finish line of the video. Uh, and thank you very much. And see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.